And what are we doing to be green? Well, me and Beth, we started riding our bikes and driving the truck a little bit less. Why, the other day we went down to the university. We rode our bikes down to the university, and then I took my bike and I caught the bus and rode around and did my business. And then with the bike, I came back and rode to the university and we both rode home. It was great. And not only that, we're doing a little bit more. So let me show you. Well, right here, I'm in the room where I'm working on my solar powered vehicle. We're starting with a bicycle and moving our way up. Right here, I've got this battery that needs to be refurbished. So rather than buy a new one, we're going to try and make this one work properly. I have about 12 of these and um, they either need to be thrown in the trash or refurbished. Now these are batteries that uh, you typically don't refill. They're maintenance free batteries but they probably dried up and once they uh, have some distilled water reestablishing them, they're very likely to work just fine. So we'll find out. Now this battery right here, this is a maintenance free battery and I've taken the plate off. The idea is that you never have to refill them during their lifetime. But these batteries sat in storage for a long time and were used only a few times. Now it makes sense that when they don't want to charge and when they were charged with a very slow charger that they've gone dry regardless, which these batteries do. And if they dry out and the plates are not buckled from trying to charge them with a fast charger uh, and then be dry, they should work quite nicely. Looking in there, I can see there is no fluid, no moisture, no, no fluid, no liquid in there. In order for these to work properly, they have to have distilled water in them. And that's what these would have, distilled water and the distilled water enables the H2O enables them to work properly. Without it, they won't charge. Now these are dry. So, I will fill these with distilled water and if the plates are not buckled, which are almost assuredly not, these more than a dozen batteries I have, will be working for the experimental vehicles and uh, it'll be saving the resources because I won't be buying any new ones. So for those kind of purposes, these batteries will work just fine, most likely. Anyway, I'll fill them with distilled water and in an episode or two, I'll show you the battery functioning, most likely, and most likely all of them. So there you go. So now you see me work on the beginning stages of refurbishing this battery so that it doesn't wind up in the trash heap. Instead, it's gonna be used for my experimental electric vehicles. Now this battery, will at least to an extent be solar charged with my solar panels and also I plan on using thermal solar. Anyway, now that we've seen some beginning phases of that and I'll be showing you more in the future, but for now, let's go back to the studio.